So I'm just out testing the uh, the Explore boat again, and I thought I'd put a little video together and show you the fish finder, the winch camera, and um, the autopilot. So this is the the Explore bait boat. Now it's uber small, lightweight, compact, twin hopper, lithium battery. Um, efficient bit but now it's got a Vexlar SP200 fish finder which I'll just come across to uh, the fish finder for you and I'll just run the boat across the lake and you can see the boat's going out across there And that's your fish finder, which is the, the Vexlar. Uh, nobody really knows too much about the Vexlar, but um, I can tell you this, for a budget fish finder, this is absolute quality. Um, it is brilliant. There we go, that's, uh, that's picking up the weed there as well. And all these little bits, um, I presume they're like roach or shoals of small fish. You've got some weed right up to the top there. Um, I think the yellow indicates sort of like density and you know perhaps the blue not so dense so that that weed looks quite dense and thick there. Um, So that's the the Vexlar, and it says we're in 2.8 feet of water. So if I just lower the winch camera down now, should be able to uh, see exactly what's under us. And it's looking like we've got silt, sediment, not too weedy, and. 2.6 feet of water. So I'll bring that back up. And you can see on the uh, Vexlar where we put the, the camera down, comes down and comes back up there. And you can see on the bottom there is loads of like, you know, clear. I think you can zoom in on this somehow. Not sure. I haven't played around with it enough, but it's. Uh, it's good. Uh, somehow, if I can get this to uh, to play ball, I can put the autopilot on now. That's connected up. This is the SP Tackle autopilot. Now, uh, if I use the shore target, which is just round about there, and I start the autopilot. You see they've got the, the handset just there, in fact I'll hang the handset on there so you can see. It, um, it's bringing the boat back in automatically. Let me just do that again. Ah, oh, that's because the boat is at the target. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so if for now, if I go to, um, how do you do this? Stop the autopilot, find your target. Uh, I've got a little spot saved there. I'm going to use that as a target. Done. And uh, start the autopilot now. Because it's prop and rudder, um, it does have a little bit of a snake to start off with, but uh, it's it's going out to the spot I saved. And 
it should be should be stopping anytime soon there. And what it will do, it will release the hoppers for you as well, so that's really cool. So that's that's released the hoppers. And I've come back to um, stop the autopilot, click Shaw, start the autopilot. Zoom back in over there for you. See, coming back all by itself. Still come in. And stop. There we go. So uh, back to the handset now. And reverse. I'm just in manual control now. It's lovely and quiet. And it turns on a sixpence as well, which is cool. So, um, let's come back out of this. I should be able to put that into split screen. Okay. Um, which one was it now? There we go. That's. Still trying to work this out myself. So that's your uh, autopilot. When you're ready, split screen. Now, if I launch the come here, Sonophone. There we go. So you've got your autopilot and the um, the fish finder. So if I go to target, uh, that's my target there, use target, done. And then if I start autopilot, bird starts. And if you just click on the fish finder, you can see both apps are uh, running at the same time. So uh, if you use the um, SP Tackle updated app, um, it also works in landscape mode and it also works with split screen as well which is cool so you can you know still see or view the fish finder whilst you're going out back to your spot and that so uh, yeah overall it's very very impressive and um, I think this uh, this boat is tested and confirmed to be working as it should do it's uh, it's very good. I like it. Uh, stop the autopilot, sure. Autopilot. And Vexler. And obviously winch camera as well. So, uh, let's bring this back in. Yeah, cool.